Our job is, is very simple, secure, efficient, and then enable the heck out of the hundreds of DevOps teams that we have across T-Mobile. AWS has really played a huge role in, in our modernizing our infrastructure and ecosystem at T-Mobile. Today we run like a billion requests a day on, on AWS, just on our container workloads. So we have used EFS in frequent access. EFS is, as the name suggests, it's elastic. So it can scale up and scale down for demand. We don't have to worry about pre-provisioning a storage. Teams are non-container-based workloads. They have access, as long as you have like appropriate tags, you have access to go ahead and provision EFS solutions for you. If you need any extra help on it, we talk with those application teams to configure EFS solutions. The second aspect of self-service is in the container workloads. We enable application teams to use AWS EFS automatically in a Kubernetes cluster. You would just need to write a few lines of code and use a Kubernetes manifest to just go and approach an EFS cluster, and you can use it in, in the PVCs. Our requirement for FSx was primarily on big data analytics. A lot of these teams use FSx solutions to get the reporting data as quickly as possible. So the real good thing about FSx is, is like it's fully managed, and the performance is much, much better compared to our solution, what we had. We actually optimized in terms of like 50 to 60 percentage of cost. It was pretty straightforward for us to you know, migrate these solutions into FSx. Many of the things what AWS provides, we just, we just go and just use it because it saves a lot of time, saves a lot of cost uh, in many of the cases, and scalability. And most important is the reliability aspects of it. We're continuously delivering value to our to our end customers on a daily basis uh, versus monthly basis. And what that's allowed us to do also is we've been able to go to market and um, go to market in small markets or with a small subset of our population and do A-B testing for our care and retail applications. And what it's really allowed us to do is get, get a very broad sample size of what's working and what's not working for our frontline and for our customers and then to iterate on that and quickly get adjustments and different tweaks out to the market very quickly. So a lot of that has been enabled with our kind of cloud native uh, transformation and a lot of that work is obviously running within AWS as well.